everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show, and I am here in New York City, and I am here with celebrity eyebrow guru, Sebastian. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you for being here and everything. This is great. So, why eyebrows? Like, what made you, like... Well, I've been uh, working with celebrity makeup for, since, uh, for 16 years now, and what I noticed pretty much right away was I would have to alter the way I would do the eye makeup on the clients because the eyebrows would be so uneven. So, um, I just decided to start fixing and evening on out the eyebrows so before I would do the makeup and before I knew it I had clients coming back just for their eyebrows and it just kept growing and growing and here 16 years later I'm on top of the world with brows <laughs> yes it's amazing now I know there's threading there's waxing and there's also um you know, tweezing. Sure. Which one would you recommend and why? Absolutely. Um, I tweeze only. Most artists who shape brows, you'll notice they tweeze. Um, waxing and threading are both hair removal. Um, so you're pretty much gambling every time you do it. Uh, with waxing, what happens also is uh, it causes a lot of scar tissue from burning. Also, um, from removing it, our collagen level and our eyes versus our lip and other areas is completely different. So what happens over time from waxing, it breaks down all the collagen and that's the number one cause of crow's feet and saggy lids. Uh, as far as threading, what happens is you're removing the hair in all different directions. So if you're removing it in a certain way and uh, it breaks at the root, it's going to grow back in that opposite direction so the brows start growing back in a different um, routes, whereas uh, brow artist tends to usually be a makeup artist, has the art of the face. So what I do uh, when I put my clients in brow rehab is I create the end result in my head based on their facial features and then have them grow into that shape that uh, we're trying to achieve. Wow, yeah, okay, so I used to get my eyebrows waxed. Uh -huh. um, and then they, at one point, I remember I came home, it was like for Christmas break, or I didn't really come home, but it was Christmas break, and I went with my sister. This is the first time I didn't go like, with my mom, because I usually, you know, I have her like approve everything kind of thing. Sure. So you, you can kind of see like they're longer and they're thick, kind of. Yeah, they were short and thin and scary looking. Yeah, I know. My mom was really worried. Right. Well, um, with brows, the thing is, is that, um, and why I say it's a gamble uh, when we're doing these hair removal processes, is because the, it's almost like the brows have their mind of their own. They will stop growing whenever they want. I've seen it stop uh, uh, affect teenagers all the way to women in their 80s. So it really does, has nothing to do with age. A lot of people think, oh, they're just so bushy and full. It's fine. I'll worry about it later in life. It's just I can't take the fullness. And they'll go get them waxed. And then one comes out higher, one or they're thinned out, and they're pretty much stuck with that. And that's why you see so many people trying to get their brows tattooed these days, which I don't recommend either, um, is because of um, the old tradition of waxing. So many people have had their brows waxed off. Yeah, I would not recommend it because, and that was the last time I was like, I will <laughs> never. <laughs> yes, I was just like, I will never do this again. Right, like right, it was right. horrible. I looked terrible. Yeah. And then now I get them threaded, um, because you know I'm Lebanese and like we just do threading, I guess. Um, but yeah, I never thought of getting them like tweezed and everything. Mm -hmm. So what is like the biggest mistake besides waxing or, or threading or something that girls do today to their eyebrows sure. and then? Um, the third part of um, um, the dangers of brow, if you will, is what I call self-induced. Um, uh, I know a lot of people emotional tweeze, um, which is really, really bad. Um, like I said, being a celebrity brow guru for 16 years, I don't even do my own eyebrows. Um, it's like trying to cut your own hair. You don't get the same dimensions. You don't get the uh, same levels and, and, and what you're even looking for. Um, so uh, a lot of people tweeze and you know end up making them look like commas that have so many different effects to the face. And a lot of people also think by digging into the bottom part of the arch is how you get your brow to arch and it, that's what ends up rounding them out and making them look like little commas as well. So tweezing your own eyebrows is a, ooh, I strongly yeah. discourage that. Yeah. Definitely, I know. Like, like I'm never, I've never been good at tweezing my own. So that's why I was just like, I just kind of wait. I'm just like, no, thank you. Right, right, um, right. Yeah. I mean, once you get um, what I let in some of my uh, um, brow rehab programs is once the silhouette of the actual brow is strong enough, um, and I do have, you know, um, f f especially for women who grow where they would almost need to get them, their brows done every week. Well, that's just so cost effective, yeah. and it's easier to once. 
ones that outlines there to be able to show them where to just kind of clean up. Exactly. But to try to shape yourself is almost impossible. Yeah, definitely. Like it, it's difficult. Trust me. So, do you think we could try to do a before and after for me, or Absolutely. is that possible? Absolutely. Let's do it, and we'll see the differences that it will make um, for you as well. Love to. Very good. And then, do you agree with like, or like, I've always heard that. Eyebrows should be twin or sisters, not twins. Is that right? Well, eyebr uh, mm, eyebrows grow. Uh, there are no two eyebrows that, that are the same. Yeah. Uh, the rare occasions, some people may, um, but they grow as sisters. It's my job to make them look like twins. Thank you. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Let's go. Well. So let's go try that. Alrighty. Okay. So right off the back, the brows are a bit rounded. Okay. Um, this one's a little bit thinner than this one here. I know. So I, I want this one to grow out a little more and in the tails, because thinning this one to match this one, two wrongs to make right. Yeah. Uh, these fall in the right places. So basically, what I want to do is I want to give you a little more of an arch. I want to open the eyes up a little and pop your cheekbones with it. Weigh those eyes up. But if we were to put you in brow rehab, we would pretty much need to grow all of this back in because, like I said, your tails yeah. are being lifted. And so the more that you go straight across like this, the more it's going to widen you. Oh, I see. So by putting an arch into it, that's what's going to open and pop your features. Oh, okay, good. So what I will do is let's go ahead and do one and then you'll see the difference that it makes okay, in the before perfect. and after for you. Let the magic begin. <laughs> this side just opens right up mm -hmm. and notice how your cheekbones yeah. it just kind of all pull, starts pulling you up now as all this grows back in and I'm able to lower this tail back onto your brow bone mm -hmm. that arch is gonna get stronger and you know even double what it's doing now yeah. and if you see how the round is here it just makes the eye look tired mm -hmm. but notice how all your weight's here instead of your cheekbone yeah exactly that's what <laughs> oh my gosh that's you like crazy. that yeah So this is more of the shape we're going with, um, the more square. So as you grow in underneath and I'm able to come off more on the top, then we're able to just get that shape more. Because um, a lot of people don't realize that a big part of the shape does come from the top. So when we're, when we're filling rows, again, whether it's pencil or um, shadow, put this so you can see exactly Actually, these look really good. So what you're going to do is you're going to start and you're going to go a straight line. Now remember we're growing you need under here, so we're going to have to go and run it straight across. And then, okay. then we want to buff it up. Because again, we want it to look like they're nice and full, not drawn on. Yeah, definitely. Just keep it going. So we go to the origin and we stop. So we're doing it in a two-part. A big common mistake women make when they're filling in their brows mm -hmm. is they do all of it. And when yeah. you notice your arm doing like this, it makes a circular motion. Yeah. So that's why their brows will come out rounded is because they're tr treating it as one brow. Exactly. So we treat it as two. So this is the body, this is the leg. Okay. So once we get that body the way we want it, we're gonna start the pencil the top part of your arch to the bottom side of your tail. Yeah, I like I like the longer. So that's more or less of where we're going with them. Okay. That looks awesome. Very Audrey Hepburn on you. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a great, great look for you. 
So we just review once again. We're going to start on the bottom side. We're going to straight line all the way through and then cuff up. Off towards the bottom side. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> love him, love him, love him. That's awesome. Yay, thank you. It just really opens your face yeah. up a lot. We're just going to run this around just very briefly. I have any little baby peach fuzzies that we don't need lingering around. And that's another part to that, which uh, really people uh, have confused about the tweezing is mm -hmm. how long did this take? You know, it yeah, just, exactly. it's as fast as anything else. So there you are, beautiful. Yay, very good, thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah.